Hey y'all, this is Mike with Pro Irrigation Training, and I've got a new video for you, and we're celebrating two different things in today's video. The very first thing is our birthday. Pro Irrigation Training is 10 years old. In March of 2013, I started Pro Irrigation Training with the thought that we were going to train new irrigation technicians coming into the business, and that's kind of the way that I've set everything up. Now, for 10 years, we've been doing this, and I've done a lot of different things. I've done live in-person training. We've done live online training. Started off on a platform called ePROF and was doing live classes. I've done some live ca classes through GoToWebinar. Uh, and now we have on-demand video courses on Udemy and also some videos on YouTube as well. And of course, not everything that I've done is on YouTube. Most of the stuff is on Udemy in complete uh, courses on irrigation topics. And we've gone through the majority of the Irrigation 101, and now I'm filming the first Irrigation 201 class, which is installing an irrigation system, hopefully to be released sometime in 2023. My apologies, it's taken a long time on this, but there's a lot of information to cover and a lot of things to film. It's taken us a while to do that. But I want to thank everyone who's watched a video or paid for one of our courses on Udemy. And I really hope that you've gotten some value out of this and have gone out there and made you some money or done whatever you need to do on your own irrigation system or drip system or whatever. So now on to the second thing that we're celebrating is that I've got a new affiliate partner in a company called DripWorks. You can see their website at www.dripworks.com and we have an affiliate agreement to where you know I'll, I'll post some links we're going to talk about some of their products I'll post a link in the comments below and if you click through one of those links I'll get a little small commission on it and if you'd like to support me and click through that I you know love you for it but if you don't like that and want to shop directly for them that's okay too um, you know they've got a lot of really innovative drip products and got some good quality stuff and so we had a conversation on the phone and they say can we send you some stuff to demonstrate and make some videos I said sure so I've asked them for a, um, a small garden bed kit and a couple of other things some innovative things that I saw that they had and uh, actually one or two things that I've never seen or used before and, and I'll tell you exactly what those are and um, we'll look at them, check everything out. And what I'm going to do is take this portion of my yard. Okay, I've moved into a new house. I sold one house and moved into a rental. And so there's not a whole lot I can do here with the property, but we do have this little area here, as you're seeing in the video, that's really crusty, kind of beat up, nasty looking, you know, part of the yard. So I'm going to put in a, a bed. We're going to grow some veggies and some herbs and stuff like that there. I've already got some oregano and rosemary and um, parsley growing in pots. So we're going to do some stuff in the ground and some stuff in pots so I can show you a bunch of different products. And I want to show you step by step how we put this drip system together. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing and, you know, uh, Spoiler alert, I've already kind of opened the box and I obviously got the hat out and you know took all the packaging out and everything just to make sure I could get to everything and make a good video here. But let's talk about some of the stuff that they sent me. The very first thing I want to talk about is the timer, right? And this is what makes an automatic drip system work right. And I've seen a lot of situations where people have systems installed or they install it themselves and don't put a timer on it. And they say, well, I'll remember and I'll go out and you know, we all know how that goes. Like, I, I think I'm Mr. Motivated and, and I wouldn't be able to keep up it, with it for, for too awful long. So no matter what, I just don't install irrigation without a timer. It, it, because you're going to call me back eventually to put a timer in after your, your first round of plants die because you forgot to water them. And unfortunately, that's, the, that's human nature. I, I do it myself. So this here is a, a Bluetooth hose end irrigation controller. And I'm going to enjoy showing you this because these are really fantastic. These hose end timers, hose bib or faucet timers are really fantastic. Okay, and I, and I think this one's great. The, the Bluetooth feature, I look forward to showing you that. I've got a couple other things here, a couple of micro sprays that I pulled out here, and these are um, Spectrum 360 degree spikes. And really what this is, is you know what most people call a micro spray, and this is a 360 degree micro spray here on a, a small straight spike, and it you know attaches to the quarter inch delivery tubing, the spaghetti tubing. But these here are a little different in the fact that they've got a 
um, a bend, okay, and these are called pot streams, and these are particularly for putting in pots. So we're going to demonstrate these and make sure that you know you see exactly how this stuff works. I like these here. These are really nice, and they call these their. It's a stake assembly, but it's a micro spray with a, a spinner on top, and uh, it's got a, a steel spike here instead of a shorter plastic spike. This has kind of a long, I don't know if this is aluminum or steel, probably a steel uh, pin here, but these are really nice. They're pre-constructed, already have a coupling on the end, so you can just poke a hole and pop it right into your tubing, and you're off and running. And so we've got five of those, but they also sent me uh, another style here. So we're going to show you both of these and what they are, the patterns and how they work. Sorry about the crinkling of the plastic. was hoping to kind of avoid all of that, but it's the nature of the beast as we do an unpacking here. So let's talk about the filter. This is called a Y filter. Basically, it's more or less in the shape of a Y but um, this is a filter. Sometimes you can buy them in combination with a, a pressure reducer and filter in the same unit. What we have here is a separate pressure reducer, and this one goes down to, um, I think it's 30 PSI, which is 2.07 bar, and it reduces the inlet pressure down to that. And this has hose threads and hose threads, and so does our filter has hose threads and hose threads, which are different than uh, pipe threads. Here in the U.S., uh, we have, you know, hose threads, and we also have NPT, which is called National Pipe Thread, which is a taper thread. It's a little bit different. When you're looking at them, it almost looks the same, but you can tell as soon as you put it together that it's not right, so don't force it. But these here, you know, you can screw this right onto your faucet, your hose bib, and that's what it's got this little spinning collar for you to, to put right on there. Okay, and you'll get a little set of instructions when you buy one of these kits. And on the on the instructions, actually, let's look at the uh, the direction of flow. It's got it's got a little arrow stamped on here, so that it wants the flow going this way, right? And it shows it with the pressure reducer on the outlet side of the filter, which is fine. It works great, and I'm not trying to contradict them. But what I would suggest is that if you have really high pressure coming out of your faucet, which is usually not the case, normally on a residence or a commercial building, they already have a pressure reducing uh, valve somewhere on the system, and maybe you're only getting 30 or 40 or 50 pounds out of the uh, PSI out of the, the faucet. But if you're getting more than that, I would put the pressure reducer before the filter so that you can reduce the pressure it goes through here, because at high pressure, sometimes these filters clog up a little quicker than, uh, than they should. Let me just take this apart to show you what we're dealing with here is that it's got a little basket style filter down in there that traps the particles. And my only thing is, is you know, pretty much a hard and fast rule that if you're gonna put a filter on a system and every drip system needs a filter, you need a plan on to clean, to, to clean this filter out. This one's got a little lever on it and while the system is running, while it's under pressure, you can just go and open this up and it'll blow the sediment out from the outside of the, uh, the mesh filter and then you close it back. Okay, you just got to remember to do that. It makes no sense to put a filter on it and forget that it's there, and then you wonder why the system isn't working very good when it's completely clogged up in here. And maybe your thought is that, well, city water, tap water isn't that dirty and don't really need it, but I'd ask you to reconsider. I've seen some crazy things come through the, the water system, and you'd be, you'd be surprised at how large of a pebble can make it through a water meter and even through other valves and get lodged into the system. So pressure reducer, um, this one has a direction of flow on it as well. Always look for the arrows that indicate per, uh, direction of flow. And so now we have some fittings here that we're going to use to connect our half inch delivery tubing that I'll show you in just a minute. Well, let me see if I get it right now. This is a, um, a roll of half inch delivery tubing, meaning it's completely solid. It doesn't have any drip emitters molded in. And so we're going to need to attach all of this stuff. And so, of course, they've, they've added uh, the, the components in here to do that. We've got a coupling, okay, that we can just connect two different parts together. There is a male adapter to where at the end of this, you know, we can screw this on here. It's got a hose thread right here. And we put this on here, and then we can attach our delivery tubing into this. We push it up over the hump, and then... 
you screw this collar down on it here and it locks it in place. Really good fittings, okay? And also they've sent a T. So basically we've got a coupling, a male adapter, a T, the things that we need to make it work. And also this is an end piece. Um, I'm not sure what their actual nomenclature is for this. Let's see if we see real quickly what it is. It's a figure eight end. And really what this is for is at the end of the run of your drip line, you should take and bend over a piece and just pinch it off. And what you do is you slide this down first and then bend it over and slide it through the other point so that every now and again you can take this end off, turn the system on, and then blow the dirt and any debris that's accumulated at the end run. Really important to uh, maintain drip systems and keep them clean. Also part of the kit is a hand punch. And there's something really unique about this one that I like. It's got a little curve that fits good in your hand because sometimes some of those punches, you mean you can really like get cramps in your hand if you're punching hundreds of holes for drip emitters. But this one's nice, it's ergonomically designed and it actually cuts a little hole out. It's not just a sharp point, but it's got a little beveled cut there and it actually cuts a little hole out of the pipe, which is a really great design. Another figure eight end. Okay, we've seen our one half inch delivery tubing and this is the backbone of the system and we're going to punch holes into this and put the drip emitters or we're going to take one of our fittings here and punch a hole and then put its connector in there and then run it out to where we need it. Okay, so this is the backbone of the system. But there's also a couple of different types of tubing. This is our quarter inch solid delivery tubing, meaning it's just a solid tubing. And this is what we use to connect our half inch tube to uh, drip emitters or micro sprays or pot streams or anything else that we have. Um, but we've also got some dripper line, which is one quarter inch. It looks like the spaghetti tube, but in fact it has little, um, what do we got here? Uh, half gallon per hour uh, drip emitters that are molded in all along the length of this. So I'm going to show you how to use this. I'm going to put some pots in. We've got some flower pots we're going to put out on the corners. We're going to use this and wrap it around several times to make sure we get a nice even watering of this big five gallon pot. And this stuff is really great for vegetables uh, and all kinds of different stuff. I've used it in many different places. Let's see what else we've got here in our box. And thanks again to Dripworks for all this stuff. And we're going to put it all into action starting this weekend. We're starting on that uh, bed that I showed you that we're going to renovate. And you're going to see all of this stuff in action. So Dripworks has sent me some drip stakes, some large and small drip stakes. And you really need these. If you're going to put together a drip system, you got to keep it in place because sometimes this drip line, you know, it's obviously it comes in a roll, so it needs to kind of warm up and flatten out. So we help it do that with drip stakes to keep everything in place. Now we've got some, some little micro spray heads here, which we, they call uh, adjustable jets and other companies call them micro sprays. And this one is a, a 90 degree jet. Okay. We've got a 180 degree jet that their, their little nozzles on them are color coded. And these are really fantastic um, to, you know, if you need, you know, if you want to put your drip emitters right on your plants or on the edge of their drip zones, but you've got another area, maybe a larger plant and a larger uh, root area that we want to use, then these micro sprays give us a little bit of a pattern and we can irrigate a little bit larger place on the drip system. And what we have to remember here is that typical sprinkler heads, they're putting out gallons per minute you know, usually two to four gallons per minute. But when we're dealing with drip systems, generally these are in gallons per hour. So we're doing low volume irrigation, slow and low volume does the trick, right? Uh, an old farmer um, adage or saying that I heard one time was, uh, water slow, grow fast, okay? So we've got some other ones here. These are 360 degree adjustable jets that they've sent me. And now we've got some drip emitters, okay? And this is, you know, one of the uh, the most prolific products in drip irrigation is, is emitters. And what we do is we, we pop a hole in our delivery tubing and push it down there. And we're going to get some drippage right out of that emitter. And we've got three different kinds. And most manufacturers have three models. A 
half gallon per hour, one gallon per hour, and two gallon per hour. And that's exactly what we've got here. The one gallon per hours are just black. The green ones are two gallon per hour, and our red ones are, I'm assuming they're half gallon per hour. This one, the, the label fell off of it, so I'm gonna check on the website, just make sure, but I'm pretty sure these should be half gallon per hour. I'll let you know if they're not. We've got some transfer barbs, which are couplings more or less. You know, we could uh, put one in here and then take off with our uh, quarter inch delivery tubing, our spaghetti tubing, Got some more transfer barbs. And we also have goof plugs. A goof plug is a little plug that has two different size, you know, ends on it. And there, you know, if we need to take an emitter out or if we've popped a hole in somewhere where we didn't really need it, we can use a goof plug just to seal it back up, okay? And now we've got some of the, our fittings to use with our quarter inch delivery tubing. We've got some elbows. And so we've got one last product here that I wanna show you which is the uh, the spray sticks. And this, I think it's maybe the only product of theirs that I haven't actually used in the field or tried out personally, but um, we're gonna check this out. I just wanna disclose that, you know, I normally try to show only things that I'm intimately familiar with, but this is a new product and we're gonna find out, you know, how awesome this is together and we're going to see it in action on our drip zone or in a pot. So thank you so much for hanging in here through this unboxing video and tune back in when we start releasing some of the new videos of us, the actual how-to of putting this system together and um, irrigating some veggies and some herbs. Thanks again.